깨봉. Solving instantly using relationships. We'll start with a problem. How are you going to approach this problem? Let's take a look at Sweaty's method. Sweaty instantly thinks of transposition after looking at the problem. So, Sweaty moves negative 48 to the right side of the equation. Here, something amazing happens. Sweaty uses the rule of changing the sign when moving numbers over the equal sign. Sweaty adds 0 to 48, which gives 48. Next, Sweaty moves 6 to the other side of the equation and divides 48 by 6. Then, Sweaty memorizes the multiplication table. 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 7 is 42, and 6 times 8 is 48. So the answer must be 8. Doesn't Sweaty's method seem familiar? In the Western world, the way people solve this problem is a little different, but very similar. But from now on, we should never solve this question like Sweaty did. Tricks are detrimental to your math education. Tricks distort the way you learn and perceive things. It inherently destroys your creativity. Let's take a closer look at Sweaty's method. Here, the term transpose is not only difficult, but also unnecessary. Another ridiculous thing is the rule change the sign when moving a term over to the equal sign. This is an infamous trick people innocently accept to be true. People use this rule because they are taught that they can quickly solve questions like this if they do. In the advanced world we live in now, there is really no need for calculations because Iron Man can do it for us. Lol, JK JK, he's dead. It's because we have softwares and devices like Google, TI-84, TI-Inspire, Welfare and Alpha that can calculate all the answers for us. It's what machines are made for, am I right? We have to learn to ask why and attain the power to think deeply. We learn math to strengthen these skills, not just to find x. Let's look at the next step. Sweaty divides by 6. Here, a lot of students change the 6 into a minus sign, dividing instead by negative 6, not 6. Why is that? Didn't they tell us to change the sign when going over the equal sign? Then, why can't we just do it here? All you know is that tricks are useful when coming to solve an equation and nothing else. It's utter nonsense. As a result, people start using these tricks everywhere because they don't know what it means. What does Sweaty do after dividing by 6? Sweaty recalls the multiplication table. Didn't we all learn that we should multiply in reverse instead of dividing? And that we can just multiply if we're asked to multiply? But, Sweaty divides, then multiplies. What is Sweaty doing here? This is unnecessary extra work. Now, let's learn it the Gebong way. When we learn math, we have to know the meaning. Doesn't subtract mean to subtract? It's the opposite of addition. However, there's another interpretation of subtraction. As we all know, it indicates the difference of two things. Here, it means the difference of 6x and 48. Also, the equal sign indicates equality, and 0 means there's nothing. So we can reinterpret the question as, there is no difference between these two numbers. More specifically, there is no difference between 6x and 48. How can we express no difference in other words? Great job! It means to be equal! If there's no difference between two numbers, it means that they're equal to each other. We should know this instantly. Math is a language because math uses symbols for concise communication. 
Math is a lot of things. No difference? From now on, it's just another language since we instantly know that it means equal to. Isn't language used to express feelings or characters in various ways? So expressions like equals can be expressed in different ways like this. The next step is to ask yourself what the number you are multiplying is. 6 times 8 equals 48. We're done! We even finished double checking since we got it right by plugging it in. Right? Here, you have to realize how foolish it is to divide <sighs> then multiply. To recap, subtraction means difference. We utilize the power to recognize relationships by thinking of subtraction as finding the difference. In Gebong, the power to recognize relationships is emphasized. We're going to learn a lot about recognizing these relationships in later videos. Second, math is a language. No difference? They're equal. Are they equal? No difference. Third, solve instantly. Never do unnecessary force times distance, lol. Sorry, I just use physics as a language here. I'm trilingual. In English, it means don't do unnecessary work. That's it. Gebong! Gebong!